Today I want to show you this antenna made by Stellar Labs. This is the model 302475. It's a fringe reception antenna specially made for the high VHF band of channels 7 through 13. This antenna measures about 5 feet in length and there's also a deep fringe model available which has more elements and is almost 7 feet long. Instead of a wired transformer hanging down, it has this little box with the 75 ohm RF connector in it, which makes it much less prone to breakage. And it also has toolless assembly. All of the elements and joints are connected with wing nuts. And also the mast clamp also connects with wing nuts. So no wrenches required. So this antenna is made for picking up channels 7 through 13 on the high VHF band. And you can see the elements are not particularly long on it. So you may have some luck picking up UHF stations if you have any in your area. I don't have any UHF stations in my area. So today we'll be testing this on the high VHF and low VHF band. And I place this antenna on a tripod in my backyard about seven and a half feet off the ground. So let's connect it and test it out now. To test the signal strength of this antenna, we're going to use this Ematic Digital Converter Box. And I did a full review of this on my channel. And if you're interested in checking that out, I'll put a link in the description of this video. So we are able to pick up channel two here with a signal strength in the 50s and low 60s. I'm a little surprised because in the past, just uh, tinkering with this antenna, I haven't had any luck pulling in channel 2 or 4. But based on the fact that the signal strength is so low here, um, I think that just speaks to the fact that, th that this antenna is really designed for high VHF reception. And just to clarify, a signal strength in the 50s to low 60s is certainly not a bad signal strength for a channel but in my experience this channel too in my area I've been able to pick this up with signal strength into the 70s with other antennas that are more suited for low VHF reception and looking at what it's doing on channel 4 here my converter box is searching and no signal not a surprise channel 4 in my area is finicky and I'm not surprised this antenna was not able to pick it up. But I am a little surprised about it picking up channel two. But again, this antenna is definitely designed for high VHF reception, as you're about to see. And here is channel nine. Channel nine is on the high VHF band and you can see that this antenna is definitely living up to its name here. We're getting signal strengths in the mid to high 80s. And if we watch that signal meter bounce around a little bit, you can see that it's even getting up into the 90s, 92, 92 again. So uh, this antenna is definitely made for high VHF reception. I don't think I'd trust it for low VHF reception, but it's definitely doing its job here. So to conclude, this antenna is definitely what I'd call a specialist antenna. It is specifically designed for reception on the high VHF band, and it lives up to its name, drawing a very strong signal from the only high VHF channel in my area. I wasn't able to test it out on UHF channels, but again, I would theorize that because of the relatively shorter elements, it would probably pick up some UHF channels maybe not all of them. If you have any TV channels in your area from channel 7 to 13 on the high VHF band and you want to ensure reception of them, then you might want to look at buying one of these antennas. It's the 30 24 75 fringe directional antenna made by Stellar Labs. And there is a larger model available, the 30 24 76, which is even larger and probably has a greater reception range. But if you need high VHF TV reception, then have a look at one of these made by Stellar Labs.